Hello, hello. We're a few minutes late. That's my fault. <clears throat> I missed a couple of things that we needed to get done before we could actually push the buttons to actually do the real, for honest to goodness, release stuff. Uh, but we've done it now, so. Uh, joining me today is John. Are you there, John? He might still be muted. I'm here. He's here. All right, I'm going to push the I'm publish now muted. button. Cool. Can I can hear you. Can you hear me? Okay. There seems to be a lag. Ah. Uh, I, yeah. You want me to publish stuff? I can push the button. I'm hovering over it right now. There are many buttons. Oh, okay. Well, what I'm going to... What button are you pushing? The one that says publish <laughs> now. It says, when you do it, it will set this application to playable in Steamworks, set application release in Steamworks, set app store page to public date and time to now, remove from early access. All right. I will publish the other stuff then. All right. If you are ready to release your app, I forgot that this was a thing. I haven't done this in a while. Uh, and you might get available to customers immediately. Please type the phrase, release my app. <laughs> into the I will put out the new build I've made. Cool. And that's going to default. Preview change. Set build live now. The game is shrinking by over 300 megabytes. Wow. So nice. I got a spinner. Things are spinning. All right, so if you restart Steam, you will get the new version if you already own it. Uh, that part's done. Where's Matt? All publishing Check. tasks have been completed. No. Uh, your application is now visible in the Steam store. It may take up to 10 minutes, but it doesn't because I just refreshed it and it's out of early access and it's officially official. Hooray! Handlobber Games has now made a third game. So that's All right, and I also am gonna publish the store page. Uh, so one thing you might notice is that Phoenix Den is not there yet. Uh, there's another delay with that that hopefully will be resolved pretty soon, but uh, hopefully it'll be available later today. That's the hope. Yeah, and basically, um, if you're a Kickstarter backer and you're waiting on your treasure chest key, um, you will get those, excuse me, once there's treasure to, to give out. <laughs> <laughs> so um, until that gets uh, completely released into the game, uh, the treasure chest keys will not be avail available, but they will be made available very shortly thereafter. So. And like John said, we're hoping it's going to be later today. Um, and we're just waiting to see. Uh, no, I yeah, don't so ask again. I oh, yeah. haven't gotten... I'm going to get that one... Or sorry, the... Uh, what's new post in while we're doing these things. Okay. Do, do, do. Well, Go to my community. I will share my screen to you. So that when we're ready to actually play the game, you'll be able to see it. <clears throat> so many fun. That's a good posts. title for this news post. Um, full release. Dungeon is out. Version 1.0. Official. Officially released. And then I will go to the thing I previously wrote. Copy and paste it. Uh, Citizen asks, I wanted to confirm, does the existing Steam version early access convert, or do we need to grab a new key from Backer Kit? Nope. Once you have it, you have it. So if you got it in early access, or you got it uh, via the Kickstarter, via a key, um, it's the same same thing. It just the version is going to go from 0.9 to 1.0, and you're good to go. Right, and yes, the treasure chest is a second Steam key that you will get delivered via Backer Kit when the time comes. Um because until then, it's not, like I said, there's not um, any treasure yet. <laughs> so, <laughs> give me my treasure. I mean, we can give you an empty treasure chest, but that seems useless. So, yeah. Okay, so, shall we play a game? Hang on, I'm just finishing. I haven't put this in yet with the formatting and everything because I forgot to do that. That's fine. 
So yeah, for those of you uh, who I've been seeing at all my streams this week, thanks for joining me while I've been playing through tons of One Deck Dungeon. Um, some really fun games and one or two really not fun games. <laughs> there was the one, actually I told uh, Chris from Asmati about it, that um, I had one uh, dungeon run earlier. I think I was playing as the warrior and I literally opened... On the entire first floor, I only got one door that wasn't a magic agility peril. Uh, and so I had the, like my super strength warrior with, with no magic and very little agility, and I got nothing but agility and magic stuff. And so it was not great. <laughs> but uh, it ended up working out eventually. Um, I don't think I won that game, but I did finally start getting more useful stuff on the second floor. So... All right, yeah, so John's pushing some buttons. I'm going to push some buttons, too. Let's get this blog post posted. Actually, Krista, uh, can you log into the, um, the Squarespace and just do a quick once-over on the post that I added in there? And if it looks good to you, just push it out. Awesome. Cool. Good times. Hey, Deliver Games, you did great on the last game in the first stream, though. All those ones on Heroics, though, yeesh. Yes. Yeah, I mean, again, it's one of those things, like, uh, luckily, this is a game that, to me, is kind of like, and I think we've said this before, it's like it's kind of like Slate Aspire. Like, the more I play it, the more I want to play it. Um, because, like, every time I play it, I'm like, oh, man, man, what if next time I get this? And then you start thinking about how you might start putting things together. And I've been finding some really fun synergies, uh, and I'm excited to just... Let's look at how my characters are leveled up here. So uh, my archer is probably the least le leveled up. She does have the basic skill, but that's really about it. Mage. Right, I think my update is ready to go. Post announcement. Hooray! I posted the release date one in the Sentinels one by accident last week. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Like, where's that announcement? It's in the wrong community. Whoops. But then I reposted it. So yes, this is officially posted in the right place. So you actually, if you're in Steam, you'll get a little pop-up saying there's a news uh, for One Deck Dungeon. And so yeah, so Phoenix Den uh, is not quite uh, available, but it will be soon. I want to home. go subscribe to this thing. I wish when I posted a news, it would automatically subscribe me to the thread, but it doesn't. Okay, so that bit is done. What's new post? Uh, you already have the new trailer on, on the game page. I do. I, do. I put it up this okay. morning. Uh, cool. That's it, I think. Begin visibility round. That's not a thing anymore, I don't think, is it? Um, yeah, it actually, it might be. It, it works differently, doing. but we can still do it. We should do it. Yeah. Newly released titles often appear in a few different places. Oh, we, we already have one. Your launch it visibility round will run up for up to 30 days. Okay, well then, yeah. So yeah, then, let's... there used to be, like, extra ones, but maybe... Yeah, we have extra ones, but because we right. just went into full release, we get it automatically. Cool. So that's neat. All right, then that is all the things on my checklist. So, well, all for now. A couple more things for Phoenix, but uh, that can wait for later. How's it going in chat land? Uh, yeah. So, oh, Seamus Butler says he can't see us. Um, I mean, I don't have video on because yeah. of internet reasons, yeah. but... Reload. Like I'm watching the video be a video in my uh, on my Twitch page here. So yeah, try reloading the page. All right. Uh, so John, which hero would you like to be today? Uh, I see like all kinds of stuff on your screen that isn't the game, but I will try to. Um, a small I, window that is the game. <laughs> yeah, hang on. I can... I can see it. Uh, I will play the Paladin. 
Can I, this wasn't working the other day. Hide others. Boom, there we go. All right, so I've hidden others. Let me bring back Twitch so that I can see that. And I hopefully I don't won't need... Uh, oh, I guess that kind of... Asked, do beta testers get different keys? Uh, no, you don't need a different key. Uh, you can switch to the public version if you want, or you can play the beta version. You can do however you like. There's not really much difference. Um, probably we'd rather you play the beta version so that like you can submit feedback to the beta board and everything, but whatever you like, there's little difference. Indeed. Uh, when you say you're getting lag like between when I talk and when you hear it, if you see it on the video, is that what you're talking about? That's interesting, if, if true. Because, Huge, if true. <laughs> yeah. Just because we usually have, we usually do pretty well here. Um, our, uh, what's it called? Our connection is really pretty good. Maybe people are having their own troubles with Twitch. Yeah, maybe. All right, so, uh, which hero, John? I said the paladin. The paladin, paladin, sorry. I was too busy changing things around, so I didn't hear that. Uh, cool, and then I'm going to do the archer, because I feel like I play the archer less than I play most other uh, Can I heroes. choose my thingies? Uh, yes, what would you like? So, can I see what you got? Uh, yeah, so there's precision, can I true strike. Oh, you just want to see the whole thing? thing? Yeah. Yeah, so I can see what you got. So that will... There we go. I don't see it. Oh, there we go. There's the leg. Yeah. Uh, right, so you just have dungeon. All right. Uh, so let's... You can select a basic skill from here as well. So let's see what we have. True strike... Yeah, so ingenuity. Yeah, with, oh, sorry, guys. Ingenuity. I'll be the trap specialist. Okay. Cool. Yeah, an archer. Let's take a look. Yeah, so the archer is my least leveled up of all of the characters. She doesn't really have much of anything except for the basic skill. So I could do um, for magic and gain um, an agility or a strength. I can do precision, increase another one of my die, dice by this die's value. That can be really good. In a four of any type. Yeah, you know what? I don't think I've ever used that one, so I'm going to try that one. Yeah, because she does have two agility, so she's got the ability to pay for it. So, um, cool. So that's what we'll do. Uh, and what shall we fight? I don't know. I'm Anything open to it. haven't done on the stream? Uh, I actually don't think I've done the Minotaur lately. Sure. I think I've done all the others. The Minotaur is so hard. The boss part is yeah. so hard. If you pull up the boss part on the Minotaur, it's just like... You have, like, the, the X gets bigger. Gets and bigger, bigger. But yeah. It's just not armor. Like, it's, there's another one, which is the one, the Yeti, I think, has a huge armor box on him. Yeah, I think that is the one that has the, um, like, a 24, I want to say. Yeah, it's yeah. a 24 armor, yep. You, just, you need to bring the strength when you're fighting the Yeti, that's for sure. Oh, cool. My, I did an experiment earlier where I made a new... Um, a new Steam account just to see if I would get a notification for wishlisting one deck dungeon. It says, hello, there it is. And that has the new price, so yeah, that's good. It has the new price, yep. Visit the Steam store for more details. Very, very cool. Blink. All right, uh, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. I guess we'll just start. I'm gonna leave on that hero. Oh shoot, I was gonna switch it from novice to standard. Uh, we're playing Minotaur and novice. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> All right. The Min yeah, the Lich is probably harder than the Minotaur overall. Uh, but Still, three dots. Cool, cool. All right, so let's see what we got. Okay, we open with a Phantom right off the bat, which is very frustrating. Let's see. Especially with low number of dice that you start with. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I would probably flee. Yeah, I don't, I, yeah. I would flee as well. We can flee together. Yes. We'll bravely run away. And here we have some swarming. Yeah, see, this is, we got strength and agility, heavy enemies both, but we don't have a lot of either one of those things yet, so. So those of those watching on, watching the stream, uh, who are waiting for the game to come to Android and iPad may be happy to hear that we have submitted it to Apple. And hopefully that will be reviewed soon. And we're hoping to be able to make it available for pre-order. Yes. Uh, via the iTunes store, which we haven't tried before. Um, so we'll see how that goes. 
Yeah, I'm excited to see how that works. And I don't honestly know how the reporting works on that. Like, are they going to tell us how many pre-orders we get in our sale in our sales charts every so. day? I would hope so too. But because it's not, they do it the same way that like Amazon or whatever does it, which is you don't actually get charged until right it's released. So I don't know how oh, they're right. going to yeah, do it. Yeah, whether we know, yeah, pre-orders versus is it just like a giant pile of sales on day one? On which, day one, which, yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, what do we think? flee again or should we just throw caution to the wind and go oh, for with it? it. Yeah, swarming. I know. <laughs> the trouble is if you flee, then like there's only one other door and we have to, then it gets even worse. So yeah. let's fight it. Alright. I feel like we should use both we should both use our things. At least I'm gonna use my thing and then you can let me know if you want to use yours. I really like the archer's skill because like there's no like the rogues has this downside that can be really bad. Yeah. And archer's just like you you have a cost that you spend every time, but you know you're going to get something good. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you can spend mine, too. Ugh, it was right on the edge there. Oh, oh give me the six. Yeah. Take the table. <laughs> and so here, uh, I don't know if... I'm, I have, my things are both trap-related. I can let you re-roll one. So yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. I am like have to lean in to see the time. <laughs> I guess I can like make the Skype window bigger because there's stuff on your screen that'll be covered up by my chat. I want my chat to be like in front, but like it can be in front of your chat, which I'm also seeing. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. So um, this actually didn't turn out terrible. No, no ones, um, but I can. Increase yeah, that to mine's two. Out, I'm sure it won't really do anything, but you may as well. Yeah. Yeah. The precision, uh, I don't know if we actually want to use that because we want to use our agilities for other things. Yeah. Like, for their actual purpose. So I'm thinking probably five and maybe this heroic three to fill that, and then I'll use this two for one of these. Maybe yep. four and six like that. And then Yeah, we can we'll just do a, it. Yeah, we'll have a magic we'll have hero six from the magic, so. Yep, so we can just do this and this. And we'll share. Share and share alike. Boom. Alright, that actually worked out better than I thought it was going to, but that's good. Alright, so the options here are some more agility. A magic-based skill and XP. Um, you know, actually, one of the things that you talked about on Tuesday night that I've been playing with as a strategy is when playing two players, stacking various dice on specific heroes rather than trying to make them both balanced. So I would probably go to the item to the archer here. Yep, that's what I would do too. Like max up your agility and then like grab like all kinds of agility skills as they come up. Yeah. And then like. Paladin can be in charge of magic and uh, strength. Man, this has been a rough first floor. Oh, yeah. Well, I got to die. <laughs> yeah. I think we could handle this. And it's a really good item. It is a really good item. And also, re also a really good skill. Try to choose between those two. Right, we'll go I think for we should it. probably both use our things, though. Sure. Yeah, just because we... Yeah, oh, actually, well, I guess we do have three magical dice, so I guess that's not the worst. But, yeah, I think it's... I think it's probably smart to do this. I haven't. Re one thing I haven't really tried is playing games like minimize time spending and see like how effective that is. Mm. Because like there is like there's there are skills that like you can specifically get to minimize how much time is lost and right. stuff too. Right. So, but I haven't really tried that. I usually go for minimizing health lost instead. All right. Well, I mean, I think we're in a pretty yep, good. You can give me a plus one on uh, one of them. So probably give me on the six or on the five, and then we can. Or, or does that make it? I don't know if it makes a difference, but whatever. It... Yeah, you can. Then we could put a six and a five in there. Yeah, so like this, and then this. Yeah. <clears throat> and that could probably go there. We've got a six that can go here. Yeah. I think I cover everything else <laughs> yeah it looks like we're we rolled tons of physics so we're doing great excellent 
All right. No skills required there. Yeah, so let's look at that lucky familiar. Reroll one of your dice or increase one of your dice by one. Yeah, it's pretty great. But is health and more agility yeah, better? But, yeah. I mean, I, Lucky Familiar is also really good because it works on traps, too. Mm. I would be tempted to go with the Lucky Familiar uh, and either one of us, really. But... Yeah, I've never actually used that skill, so let's, let's take that, and I'll let you take it, and then that way um, you can show us how, how to use effectively. And actually, now we probably could actually go after that fancy. Yeah, we could probably take on the ethereal now, or the phantom, is what we have. Sure. Let's, Let's do it. Don't, don't roll ones and threes. Yeah. I'm gonna roll ones and threes here. Oh, good. Yeah, just go three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, and. and yeah. And you think you roll it because I can let you... Actually, no, if you roll one, they're gone. So it won't matter, but sure. Oh, that's yeah, fine. that's true. No, it's fine. Yeah, ones and threes. Oof. Well, we have the armor boxes at least, so... Ah, good, twos and fours. All right, so... We can right. cover the... Yeah, the four and the... Actually, don't put my four on there you can increase it to a four, my other to a five and then like use the, her the heroic up here yeah because you can increase my strength to a five and i can increase it to a six. Oh, great so then we can cover that other box all right so we'll increase this and then with lucky familiar we can increase it again Excellent. All right, so yeah. that's going to go And then, there. yeah, I would throw the heroic four on there, probably, and yeah, probably then put this here. Yeah, and then the strength five can go on. Unfortunately, yeah, you don't have any. You lost all your agilities. Yeah. Dude. And well, we can, we can cover, cover one of the twos. Yeah, we'll do that. There might have been something slightly better we could do, but I think that was pretty good. Given how terrible this counter can be. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, and Steady Hands is like... I don't know. You can't use it against the boss, so I almost never want it. Like. Yeah. So I think we I should think give you the item. item here, right? Yeah. Give me that item. Stack up your strength. I mean, you already started with an extra heart, uh, so I'd like to get an extra heart to um, to the archer, but I don't know if that's going to happen. All right, so yeah, I bet. Well, yeah. See, this is tricky because like disenchant is going to burn three time, but I feel like we'll easily get it with the three magic and one heroic that we have. I think. Or we could dodge him, which is a much harder thing, but then I can use my thing and I, we would end up taking one less time. So this is like what you're talking about in terms of trying to minimize right. time loss or something like that. But it's also the less like- The problem is like you're expected, like that's a six difference, right? So it's I know. a significant number of, I would go with the disenchant probably. And just, we have three, we have three dice and a heroic and I've got lots of skills to help with perils so like I can do two increases and I have the cunning which changes five into six so, like we'll certainly get the eight and so it's just a question of whether we're going to cover both of them I think I should roll yeah because I've got the skills peril skills boom yeah, so what does cunning do exactly? Oh yeah, I mean, you don't have to do anything, but like, change a five into a six, right? So we could, yeah. And then I have another plus, plus twos, so easy. Cool. All right. That haste is interesting. 
I like anything that gives more dice, no matter what their color are, typically. Um, but I guess the question is... I would just grab the strength item. You just grab the strength, all right. Yeah, I mean, it's, I don't know that I would, you know, prioritize one or the other there, but I've, I've had some pretty good luck, especially when you start getting into ridiculous numbers of dice. Like, yeah, if you have a lot of magic, then, like, those kind of things are really powerful. Yeah. It's all about synergizing them. Ooh, all right, so we got a potion here, which is probably, I think, what we would do since the paladin's at her item limit, and I probably wouldn't take that strength. Yeah, no, that's a really good potion against the boss. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. All right. Let's go for it. I like that. Six. And... Yeah, so we're going back with you rolling this, or should I should I do it in case no, it's one? No, I think you rolling because I can let you reroll one. Got it. My skills are more peril focused, so you didn't roll any ones. Well, I rolled them for you. <laughs> yep. All right, so well, you can let me increase something but let's yeah we don't necessarily need to right now um actually yeah i could lucky familiar to turn that into a four but actually yeah that's probably not we don't we have you may as well just throw the six put my three and six on yeah that's like, what i was thinking we got that i could probably do this five down here yeah you have a five, have a five uh strength to go in the five here. spot we got these over here and we got this here and this here, we don't even need to do anything. Yeah. Boom. It's actually it's more fun fair. when you kind of have to figure things out, but <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Yeah, okay. let's take the potion. Works. All right, so we're getting close to the end of the first floor. All right, so. Shring. It's a pit of spikes. Uh, yeah, I feel like we could probably do either one. Climb around is probably slightly easier at the cost of time. Yeah, we have five strength versus. Plus a heroic. It's a lot, it's a lot easier. Uh, I would do climb around and not use beats. Like the jump over, we. Yeah, we might not make it. Like with the armor, especially, we might not make it, right? So, And I can... You don't need to use your... Yeah, I'm going to skip it here, because otherwise I'll take a damage. Yep, and I can roll that. Oh, yeah, because... Oh, yeah, we're on the stairs. Yeah. Hey, Excellent. Hey, that's five. Boom. And everything's good. Yeah. And boom. Tons of skills to make it better, but don't need to. Don't need to. All right, uh, I'm gonna take this if that's okay with you. Sure. Because I think uh, having the ability to get a six with one of my agilities is gonna be super useful. All right, descend. All right, so crumbling walls now we have, um, which is now two new armor boxes, and you when you explore, spend an extra time. Then we've got this poison dart trap, so we get to the third floor, which is a 12. Lots of armor boxes. 12 box. <laughs> yeah, lots of armor happening so, here. So getting those extra strengths is good. You might want to take an extra strength <laughs> item, too. Uh, yeah, I could take this one. Yeah, let's do it and get that strength item. All right. And then we'll start getting XP. Probably worth rolling this, yeah. Ah, but I want both of those. <laughs> All right, and I will roll this, right? Yep. Who's glad he picked up that dexterity? Cool. All right. So probably. Yeah, you can let me increase the two to a three. And then, yeah, and then this four and then the five. Awesome. Yeah, so we're in pretty good shape. All right. So you want a lucky familiar that up? No. 
your combined shot. Oh, oh, that one. Right, right, right. And we're going to do that to the two? Yep. Cool. So these will go here like that, probably. Yeah, and the four in the other armor box. And then just, like, cover everything. I don't think they need to do anything else, really. Yeah. Probably. Like, you can just about just cover everything. So I believe we're now both at our item limits. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Well, we and could, yeah, we climb around this. Oh, an armor crush. That's real good. I love the armor crush. And does the Minotaur boss have armor? That's the only thing that makes it like less useful. If the boss doesn't. Have, yeah, the boss doesn't have armor, so that sort of ends up being a slot that. I mean, you can replace it with something near the end, though, right? Yeah, you that's true. Be, so. With all the armor boxes, like this is a skill we want to get. <laughs> so I think we can just climb around and don't use feats and do it easily. Yeah, I agree. And I'll roll those. And you got it. <laughs> Boom! More than double. All right, and so what was? Are you taking? Are we taking the armor crush? Yeah. We kind of talked around it a little bit, and it seemed like we were going to, but I want yeah. to confirm before I, I can push take it. Button. I have lots of strength. So. Cool. Force wall. So. Yeah, so my each. my complete misunderstanding about how magic skills work led to me never taking this one cuz I'm like why would I want to lose a six? like if like what are the odds I'm going to get a magic 6 just to turn it into two yellows and it's like oh well if you can build it out of as many dice as you want that's a whole different thing. Yeah, including heroic dice which yep. is important as well. I mean that skill is great but it's not good for our team I think. Right. Because uh, we don't have a lot of magic, but that uh, item is great. <laughs> Chris just asked me, "Did we launch?" <laughs> we did streaming now. He put he he was aware of the schedule. <laughs> yes, but maybe he just wanted to confirm. <laughs> uh, all right, so I think we should do it. Uh, which one? I think. We could probably do the, the the blast through is better because I all of my skills work on my dice, so I should be rolling the dice for the peril, right? In, instead of you. Mm -hmm. So I think we should do blast through. You can still use your heroic feat. Sure. Can probably, yeah, or maybe I'll use my heroic feat first, and we'll see what like what I get before we decide to use yours. That's Ooh. not not bad. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, it's up to you how whether you think that you want. Cuz I'm we're going to be rolling 3 or we're going to roll four more dice. And I have a bunch of skills to help like do better, but I say we just go for it. Okay. Uh Seamus Butler, yeah, have a look at the how to play uh in the skills for how magic skills work. The tutorial goes through it. Oh, look, another six. Beautiful. Look at this. Yeah. You don't need any skills. It's just all done. It's just all done. <clears throat> That'll come back to bite us. <laughs> all right. So. Yeah, I think you could take this because you wanted the health. Yeah, and replace my the other strength. Yeah. Yeah, I concur. We got the spiked dog. 
I like my logs boy. spiked. I like my I like my punch like I like my logs spiked. <laughs> All right. So yeah, I feel like we could. Pro well, I guess we could technically probably do either one here, but the clobber would be the easiest. Yeah, the clobber would be super easy. And well, I mean, pending those armor boxes, but yeah, let's do the clobber, and we probably don't need to use anything. We might just take the XP on this. To, yeah, I've been rolling seven dice. And I'll roll that, yeah. Yeah, seven dice and all the skills. Look, I rolled enough to beat it myself. <laughs> so. Yeah. I'm Thesta says, I thought it was common knowledge about the magic, but many people watching Tuesday Night Stream didn't know. Many people on Tuesday Stream didn't know. <laughs> I, I, after months of testing the game, never once considered trying to drop more than one magic die on a magic power because I thought it just was that was the value of the die you had to drop on it, period. I had no idea. Jeremy never played the tutorial. I never did. Like, I thought I had learned enough of the game before the tutorial was ready that I was like, ah, I don't need that tutorial. But clearly I did. All right, so let's take a look at this skill because I don't think we've talked about it. Static burst. So uh, for four magic, you gain a four and a four and then increase one of your dice by one. So that's actually pretty It's real terrific. good, but I don't want to give up one of my other skills for it. Yeah. And I don't necessarily want to give up any items for that. So, I, I mean, unless you want Static Burst with your one magic die. I know. That's... I just take the experience. Yeah, I agree. Let's take the experience. And then we're only three away from level three. Yeah, then we can start getting more things. Well, I guess we have another item to add to the FAQ to answer people, why is the game so hard? It's probably because you're not playing. <laughs> that is, usually the answer is like, you don't know about things that you can do. Like you can use heroic dice yeah. for skills and stuff like that, right? Like you don't have to fight every encounter. You can flee and you probably should. Uh, speaking of, I think we should fight this. There's, I mean, it's a bunch of dice, but we have a lot of dice. Yeah, and, and that Invisibility is real good. Yep. Get that. Um, let's see. We got se six heroic, three agility. One. Eh, well, we're getting pretty close to the end of this floor. What do you think? Would you would you roll mine here or not? Uh, yeah. Six strength against five boxes. Three agility against three boxes. Three magic and against I, two. I, and the then, numbers uh, aren't very high. So I wouldn't, yeah, I think there's enough doors to open that we should skip this and we can just spend time like by not filling that six or something, right? Like if sure. we have to. Yeah. So. And hey, you roll a bunch of ones and I can let you reroll them. And I rolled a bunch of sixes. Oh, do you see what just happened with that four and six? Yeah. All right. Hooray physics. I my skill to let you reroll ones. All right, so that's support aura, yeah? Yeah. Right. And then probably you can just win in this battle because we rolled so good. All right, yeah, so if that's like this, uh, I guess we'll do it like this and this. And then three. And yeah, you can increase from like two to a three. Yep, let's do that. And, and then just cover stuff up. Yeah, man, look like, at all these. <laughs> <laughs> it's an embarrassment of riches. So I guess this and this and this. And just because, I mean, why wouldn't I do this if I have the opportunity to just do six, six, and six? Hmm. Fanatic would not approve. But that's okay. Boom. Yeah, Fanatic should have a roll. If she rolls three sixes, she dies. Oh, wow. <laughs> Are you listening, Chris? <laughs> Maybe adding another, uh, another mechanic no. in there? <laughs> There's a cool mechanic from the fanatic. We're excited about that. Yes, definitely. Oh, sweet. A shadow with a real good item that we can replace one of my swords with, I think. to Because uh, check my items, I think. Um, yeah, one of them doesn't have a heart, so we can switch. Perfect, that. and that's ex that's the three that we need to get up to level three. So perfect. Um, although there is another cool potion there. Change two of your non-heroic dice to be sixes. Eh. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, I would say don't 
Well, we spend a time for every skill we use, so I think we probably got this without, especially with your dexterity. We probably don't need to use yeah. the speed. So that's fine. Skip it. Uh, and and you. I will roll it. But yes, remember every skill costs, so don't willy nilly. Yeah. Well, I got three ones, <laughs> so I feel like we're definitely gonna want to do that. Well, but let's take a look here. Sure. Yes, we got four and four. Yeah, cover those armors, I think. Well, use your three. Okay. Yeah. To cover the armor. Um, we've got a four that could potentially go here. We've got a six, and I can yeah, up throw that. Yeah, your six into the armor box. And I would say, like, I mean, we can re-roll that and see if we get something to put it in instead. Um, or you could just make it a six. Yeah, I mean, that's the question. Like, it's going to cost us one time to turn that into a six. And then, you know, I can we could do this over here. Or... We can spend that same time to turn that into maybe a six, and then both of these into yeah, maybe yeah, other yeah. things. All right, do the support aura to re-roll those yeah. three. Because re-rolling three dice for one time is a pretty good deal. Yeah. Especially so I got the six, is. and I got two free threes. So that yeah. can basically do that. We'll make a heroic to go in the other one, so. Yeah. And then and you can just fill everything up and make heroic in. Actually, we won't cover the, the five, but we might be able to do that a different way. Yeah, like I'm looking, like I could, we could do, f mm. you can precision. So, well, put that my, put my, I mean, it costs a time, but it's only a time. Because uh, we can cover the, put the, my five on the five, like that. Um, is that, that's your heroic four, right? So I can't increase it. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I assume we're thinking about eyeing this, the two and the three to cover up that other two. And then it's just a question of, can we increase both of these fours in order to make a heroic five in some way? Is that, we is can. That for two time with my lucky familiar and your combined shot, we can do that. Oh so. yeah. We can, I may as well do that. That's fine. Let's do that. So increase one of them with that and the other one with lucky familiar. Great. Oh, you, you could have actually, you could go back, go back and make the four and increase that with the Lucky Familiar instead. That's smarter. Oh, because then it's one less? Yeah, we use one less time. So we'll use the undo feature now. Yeah, I've never actually back. stepped back this more than one thing with the undo. Yes. So now you've got the fours again. All right. So basically increase. No, make the heroic first. Oh, make the heroic first and then increase just that. Yeah. Got it. Then use Lucky Familiar to increase it. There we go. And then you can make a heroic two and put it in the other box. Did we post the blog post yet? We did. Did you can you tweet a link to it or something? And and Facebook too. We were so busy trying to get the stream ready and everything that it, we were kinda sneaking around and not remembering to do some of the other things that we needed to get done, so. But that's okay. Okay, so we did everything we needed to do, and that's a thing. <clears throat> Thank you, chat, for helping us work that all out. And so yeah. this is gonna go to the Paladin, and it's gonna replace the one yeah. that doesn't have a heart, which is then gonna give us- level up. We level up, we get another potion. We're in all kinds of good shape. We like nearly max potions. Um, should right. I bother opening one of these, or what do you think? I feel like if we do, it's gonna do two, and someone's gonna take a damage, right? No, we're already. Oh yeah, we're at the end of turn. So yeah, if we stay, then we'll take a damage. So yeah, we can descend. Alright. 
crumbling wall, spend some time, start a turn, spend some time. We're gonna start on the bottom row this time. Yep, Seamus Butler, there are six potions, tokens, so you can only have six potions. All right, so we got another fade. All right. Yeah, that big 12 agility box. We don't have enough agility, but now we can get some, um, potentially. Uh, hmm. Yeah, we like just beat the last fade. I know. <laughs> I mean, you always beat them, but like how much damage you take, right? Uh, I mean, I guess the question is, if is there one of these items and or skills that we're dying to have, and maybe we just invisibility past it? Yeah, like we could invisibility. Like, I think getting the agility would be good. Mm -hmm. uh, can we have a look at the boss again? But now that we're on the third floor, good to refresh that. Oh, I missed the button. Hang on. And flip. So, yeah, we've got the Xbox. <laughs> the Xbox. Yeah, he's really about strength. Like, I mean only two magic spaces and two agility spaces so like the agility it you need the agility a lot like during the dungeon but not really for the boss right yeah so i don't know maybe we just skip this fade like the reward isn't great yeah no i'm fine with that i mean we're yeah. we're, we're trying to optimize now for the boss as you just said and i think yeah. you know we both now have room for more um items so if we can maybe start optimizing for strength above all else, that yeah, might be like worth it. Yeah, like if we get a little more magic, maybe we go back to that static first. It might be worth it, so. Yeah, this, like getting another magic, even though there's only, might be worth it. Um, trying to level up to level four can be pretty difficult. So I don't know if we're gonna try to do that, but. Yeah. I mean, this is a fairly easy challenge for us. Yeah, on either, yeah, I would do, probably do bash it open. Yeah, like we have so many dice, and I have all the skills for that. Like, well, at least get something. Oof, that's a lot of ones. Okay, good. Well, is it good? Let's see. We definitely need that. We could probably upgrade this for that, and then do six. Yeah, you can upgrade one of my twos to a, either upgrade a two to a three. Uh, and you can upgrade a five to a six. You may as well upgrade the five to the six right now. Okay. I just did because there's only one. Uh, and Lucky Familiar, uh, and there's another one higher up, right? There's another skill that I have, which is increase the dive. Uh, oh, yeah. Just increase the two to a three and put it in the armor box. Yep. There you go. Trap Master. That's why I picked the trap stuff. Nice. <clears throat> All right. And... I mean, I would probably take the item. Like... Yeah, and give it to me. That'll give us more flexibility on magic perils that come up. Yeah. And, like... Seven more dice is good. And then maybe, like, it'll be make sense to go get a static burst from that fade now yeah let's just bash it open again. bash it open again <laughs> another locked door right behind the locked door uh, yeah skip her up i know but like we only just did it the last one so that's why i was a little nervous no i could have re-rolled one of those ones or increased by one i we had more options still all right all right we'll put your three on the armor box and you, you may as well put your... Well, I can increase twice, right? So, uh, yeah, use Ingenuity to increase my 4 to a 5. And then put it on the 5. And then your 6 can go on the 6. So I could... There's a couple options here. Like, how short are we? We're at 6, we 8, need 9. Two. Yeah, and I've, I've uh, scrolled down a bit. Oh yeah, so the armor crush doesn't work, but um, well, we can. Yeah, so you, we can easily uh, do that. Actually, all we got to do is take this one. Oh no, sorry. Wait. 
Yeah, armor crush doesn't work. Never mind. Sorry, I wasn't. Looking yeah, what at the we icons. can do is uh, increase my dice in a clever way such that we do the right thing. Like yeah. we need to get the two points over into that other box. Uh, Rerolling the one might fail, so I don't want to do that. Um, but we can. So just hit the remove dice buttons to reset back, or just actually undo back to the start. Because I think increasing that one was not what we wanted to do. Like we want to use ingenuity in a different way. Yeah, so I think still have your three on the three. That makes sense. But instead of increasing that four, we want to increase uh, increase a three to a four, and then a four to the five, and then the five to the six. I think that I think that's going to do it. Let's see. So we'll increase a four to a five. Yeah. Then increase the increase the next four. Yeah, is that yeah, increase that one. And then do I if I can make if I make a five a six, is that gonna quite do it? Maybe it's not gonna do it. What do we have? We have seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, maybe I do need to do the reroll instead. So let's undo just a couple steps. So you can use ingenuity to make the heroic four to a five, and then we'll reroll a one and hope for like a three or Then we'll get it. Be there. This would be there. I mean, if we can't fill the eleven, we like re we put the six. Yeah. In, right? So, so use lucky familiar to reroll the one. And roll good. Boom! Yeah, there we go. Awesome. Alright, so Paladin is at the limit. Um, but I feel like I could probably take this yep. item. And Especially, then we... guys, the Minotaur is like all strength in the boss stage, so we need more strength. Four. Seven strength, so we actually only have one more strength die available. <laughs> Right, we got some swarming goblins here. What is the what is the loot? So we're both at our item limits. Ooh, a dodge though. Yeah. So we could flee and go after the fade and then come back to the goblin if we want it to be a little easier, but I don't know if like <clears throat> it makes that huge a difference. Or we could just invisibility and steal the dodge. Yeah, we could do that. You want to do that? Well, I'm just looking here. I mean, I'm assuming that we're going to want the archer to take it because it's agility. Yes. Archer should take it. And, yeah, I think we could do that. I mean, we're so lousy with potions. Like, I think we're sure. fine. I still really want to get um, some more hearts for her, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Do you want to do spice? Face the shadow. I mean, you're clicking on stuff willy nilly here without um, oh, talking about that. Sorry. But, sure. <clears throat> well, I mean, we had already sort of skipped that, so I assumed we weren't necessarily going back. Oh well, no, we talked about going back to it later, and it's getting to the time when it's later. All right. Well, so we have these flame statues. We could disenchant. Uh, we this could probably... is actually not really worth it because yeah. we don't need that skill because we already have like tons of strength. Like, yeah. we have more strength than we have almost as much strength as we have dice. Um, I mean, it's an okay skill to get, but I don't know. Yeah, but, like, unless we... I'd rather fight the fate. Yeah, the trick here is that we would... the And this is what, every, this is what we keep talking about, about number of die in, in the dice pool and stuff, is that, like, if we just roll, I can't use this skill, or I, say I could, right up front... But in order to actually get the most out of it, we would only be able to roll one of these dice. Because if I use up yeah, one of my things to roll it... probably discard a, a strength one or something. Yeah, discard a strength one or like yeah. make them into a heroic or something. But you just can't use it right off the bat. So there's more thinking involved there. All right, so we'll flee and we'll go back after the shadow. Yeah, I think that's probably the way to go. Fix the shadow. I think we can fight it. I'd rather keep the potions, so... 
You can use your heroic feet, though. Like, yeah. I think this is going to be the last encounter, so. Because we're going to probably need to use skills. Oh! oh. Terrible. Not good. And you roll. I have a. Don't forget my armor crush. But that is a skill with past the time. But right. So. Yuck. Yeah, good. That's good agility rolls. Like, decent agility rolls. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, well, you may as well just put my threes. Well, unless we want to use armor crush, but I think, yeah, there's actually not a lot of strength on the board, so just put the threes in there. And uh, for the... That'll probably go there. You could use a heroic one for dexterity is probably worth it because there's, like, a ton of mm. agility. Yeah, I would do that. Oh, I, I can let you re-roll your ones. Oh, yeah. For That's probably worth it. Yeah, for one time, for two. Yeah, let's do that. For two heroic dice, that could end up being real good, so. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think so... it's still, I, I would still like spend the two, the two, agil the two agility into a dexterity. Mm, yeah. Because we have to, we want to cover that 12 box also, right, so. So I would like put the six and the four into the armor box. Yeah. Six is most likely what we're gonna do there. Yeah, and then we can just do, then we can pile other stuff into the other box. So like, now you can put the five agility into the 12 box. Like, you can fill that with heroics. And then, like, you can make enough heroics to fill the agility boxes. Yep. So, there we go. And we even have extra time. What should we do with all our time? Ooh. Yeah, I'm thinking of taking the static first for the paladin mm. so that that gives us more strength and agility with the plus one is really good because we're yeah that's what i'm thinking replace anything i mean we don't need to right uh i mean we don't need armor crush but there's no point there's like, no point yeah because we're not gonna we're level not gonna up. level up so you may as well just take it if we were close to leveling up then that would be a smart move. So here, like, we could face the flame spikes and get a magic, but it would be really difficult because we don't have a lot of agility actually on the board to face a trap like that. So I would just say explore and descend unless you want to. Yeah. Um... Like that trap is going to be really tough. Yeah, because we yeah because we can't disenchant because of the time. Yeah, I think we just. I mean, no, we could disenchant, but. But it costs three time. It costs three time, so we would have two things on the on the stairs card. Right. We just wouldn't have any margin for error. <laughs> yeah, with a six, a five, and a three, and an eight yeah, against and a, and a pretty five dice. Style. Yeah, so it, it, it's possible. It's possible, but I yeah, I... not worth it. Oh, I guess we could invisibility it if we really wanted the magic die, but I don't think we really need it that yeah, much. Yeah, so. I think we're fine. I'd rather have the potion for potion things. Yep. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Infinitor. Sounded like you said Infinitor. <laughs> Infinite Minotaur. Infinite Minotaur. All right. So, uh, I don't think we need to bother with the healing just yet. No, well, like we only have one damage. Use yeah. What's your damage? All right. Uh, me roll this. Uh. Yeah, because I can still let you reroll one, yep. so that's still generally just a good idea. You just gotta roll some. <laughs> okay. 
All right, well, re-roll that one straight off. You not you have no other die rolls, so. <laughs> incrementally better. Yeah. And yeah, so. Do sort of, yeah, any obvious stuff. Yeah, and I guess. Yeah, I mean. Like, I could use this here, but then I'm wondering if it's better to, like, turn that into a six and get a heroic six to take half of this big box away. Oh, right we, have tons of, we have tons of strength to work That's with. That's true. That. I wasn't really looking at that yet. Yeah, because we could do, like, five. We have enough to do five, five, six just right off the bat. Yeah. Actually, yeah. We're done. Why are we even thinking about this? I don't know if we're done, but you can let me increase the strength die. Like, uh, or, yeah, just, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, <laughs> we're That's, done. Okay, we had enough little spare change to do it. Yeah. yeah. I just, I started doing the mental math, and I was like, wait a minute, what, 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 are, what are we even wasting our time for? Look at that. So now this box gets a it's little bit pointing. bigger. <laughs> Uh, yep, still gonna skip the potion. And you roll. I will still roll it. We got a one and a five, five, six. Good rolls, though. Yeah. And then I can let you re-roll that one. Oh yeah, you can you can make that public. Ugh. Yeah, this is Same not thing. <laughs> this is not going well. Um. Hmm. All right. Well, let me do a static. Okay. So you can let me increase. Uh. Well, just do yeah. Do the obvious thing first. Um. Yeah. You've got just little guys. Your precision is really good though, right? You can make. You can turn that her that two into a six with uh stick with precision mm. which you haven't used all game yeah but that's true you can't <laughs> um or like you could you could like use the two to make something else but up by two or whatever uh let's use combined shot to make my five strength into a six strength and let's just put it on the six one for now we might not want to keep it there, but it can. There's no armor, so it makes it easy to move stuff around. Yeah. Uh, then let's go down. Um. Do we do we want to consider this clarity? I almost forgot we had it, but we've got. Oh, actually, right. It's only one of us gets to do it, so it's yeah, either I can reroll my. Yeah. I wouldn't worry. I wouldn't yeah. worry about it. No. We're that's gonna right. cover most of the boxes anyways. And we could we could kill them. We just have to like we can take the four damage. Just have to cover those boxes, and we win. Right. So, uh, static first, and then increase, like, use static first, and increase, uh, like, magic by one? Sure. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, now now we know that that's good, and now we just have to figure out how to cover all of this stuff. Yeah, and then you can lucky familiar, actually, yeah, just lucky familiar one of my fours into a five. Sorry, strength force. And then you can precision with the two, or with, yeah, either precision, like I would use your agility five, which you're not gonna use. Mm -hmm. Precision to increase your strength two to a six. Or the or heroic, sure. Uh, oh, and right, then, well, yeah. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. And then put it on there. And like, yeah, cover all, put all the strengths on. And we might have enough. We might have enough, yeah. We do. We have exactly enough. <laughs> that is so nice. awesome. So satisfying. So satisfying. <laughs> Boom, Minotaur. What and he's killed exactly. Do? Achievement unlocked. Destroy your own bosses. Awesome. All right, so let's level this up here. So I've got hexagons, so I kind of want to go ahead and use those. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four. And actually, I'm just going to not use it for there because I really want their durability to be up. And then let's see what the paladin is all about. 
crafty. You may have one extra item or skill. Grit. Yeah, with her. Get that point of grit. Yeah, get the grit. And I'm just going to do hexagons the rest of the way down here. Because I've got a little bit of other things happening that I'm looking for. Yeah, I'm glad that that cunning, I'm glad I filled that up. Because that we used that a couple times in some really key spots. All right. So that is your launch day stream. Head over to onedeckdigital.com. First launch day stream. The first launch day stream. That's right. Because there are going to be so many of them today. Uh, at 2.30 uh, at the Asmati Games channel, Chris is going to be playing. And then at 8.30 tonight at the Crit Camp channel, <clears throat> the whole Crit Camp team is going to be playing with all kinds of special guests like me. And I think maybe Chris, and I think maybe Alana. Maybe I don't remember if Alana's. I think Alana's there tonight. She's going to uh, yeah, because there's gonna be more of these week. next week on yeah. Wednesday when it comes out for mobile. So, uh, so yeah, thanks for joining us. Please tell your friends that One Deck Dungeon is now officially released. It's out. You can buy it at its original, its actual price, not its early access price. Um, yeah. Yeah, and watch out for Phoenix Den. It'll be out hopefully later today. If not. Uh, I mean, Monday at the latest, I would guess, sort of a, re a review thing. Yes. So. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Well, thanks, everybody. Have a great afternoon. We'll see you in the dungeon.